This will be for the con exercise, difference of squares. So the difference of squares, it's almost exactly what it sounds like. It's going to be a squared minus b squared, and that a is going to equal a minus b times a plus b. Okay, and this really isn't too difficult to remember because as you can see here, there is no middle term with the a squared and the b squared, okay? And when you do a minus b and a plus b, let's say you use FOIL, when you do the inner, that's gonna be a times negative b, which is negative a b, and the outer is gonna be a times b or positive a b, they are going to cancel, okay? So the difference of squares, it'll always be a minus b times a plus b because there is no middle term. And when you do the last term, a negative b times a positive b will give you negative b squared. All right, so they want us to factor this completely. Now, first, we really wanna see if we can factor out the greatest common factor. All right, so the first step is going to be to, fa to factor the greatest common factor for the number or the coefficient. All right, so let's do that. We have a 6 and a 96. I'm almost positive 96 is divisible by 6. So I'm going to start by factoring out a 6. 96 divided by 6 is going to be 16. Yep, 16. And of course, negative six divided by six is negative one, and x squared is left over. All right, and now at this point, this is easy to factor. This is basically a squared minus b squared, and that equals what we said at the beginning, a minus b times a plus b. All right, so we line this up just right. If a squared, if a squared is 16, and you take the square root on both sides, that means a equals 4, okay? So the opposite of squaring something is to take the square root. You take the square root on both sides, and a is just 4. And, of course, my b squared equals x squared. b squared equals x squared. So once again, just take the square root on both sides and you get b equals x. All right, so I am going to use a equals 4 and b equals x right here. All right, so since a is 4, right there, minus b, that's x. Again, a is 4, plus b, b is x, so it's plus x. Final answer. So I just lined it up. And that's it. All right. Parentheses, 4 minus x. Close them. Parentheses, 4 plus x. Close them. All right, I forgot to write the 6. We factored that out at the beginning. All right, so just be careful. This is the answer. I left off the 6. All right, and now it's correct. Okay, factor completely, 100 minus 9x squared. Now, before I said, if you can, I really should have said, if you can, factor out the greatest common factor with the coefficients or the numbers. But in this case, you cannot. All right, there is nothing that is both divisible by 9 and 100. So really, we're going to work with this right here. This is going to be your a squared. And this is going to be your b squared. All right, so since a squared equals 100, 
If you take the square root on both sides, A is going to equal 10. And since your B squared is 9X squared, you take the square root on both sides. The square root of B squared is B. The square root of 9 is 3. And the square root of X squared is X. Okay, so A squared minus B squared, the formula we said at the beginning, that equals A minus B times A plus B. Now that we have our values for A and B, we can just sub them in. Okay, and this time we didn't factor anything out front, so I don't have to worry about that. Parentheses, the A value is a 10 minus the B value, which is 3x, close parentheses, the A value is a 10, plus the B value is a 3x, close parentheses. All right, nothing factored out front, so that is it right there. All right, one more. We have a 5x squared and a negative 320. I know this is divisible by 5, so I'm going to factor out a 5 first. 5x squared divided by 5 is x squared. And negative 320 divided by 5 is going to be negative 64. All right, this time I'm going to write the 5. And... Fill in the parentheses. All right, so this is a squared minus b squared. And that's going to equal a minus b times a plus b. All right, a squared is x squared. So taking the square root of both sides and solving for A, A equals X. B squared is 64. Let me just make a little separation here. B squared is 64. Taking the square root of both sides in order to solve for B, B equals 8, the square root of 64. Okay, since A equals X, wherever you see an A, fill in the X. B equals 8, wherever you see a B, fill in the 8. This is a minus, this is a plus, and this right here is the final answer. So you click in the box, 5 parentheses, x minus 8, close it, x plus 8, close it. All right, make sure your answer is correct. And that's it.